In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps of performing triangulation of the planet Mars using data that was collected um, through a Harvard survey in the 30s. Okay, so in the middle of the screen here, you can see Earth's orbit. We have zero degrees off to the right-hand side of the page. That's very important. And the sun is essentially at the center of Earth's orbit. Okay, so that's our basic understanding. In order to complete this, you're going to notice there's two columns of data here. One is a heliocentric longitude of Earth. That is basically the position of Earth relative to the sun. So we'll put our protractor um, in the middle or centered on the sun and then measure the angle to Earth there. Those points will fall somewhere on this Earth's orbit line. And then there's a geocentric longitude of Mars. So geocentric meaning Earth-centered. So once we have position plotted on the orbit, we'll change the center from the sun to our Earth position and then measure an angle from there. So that's how we get the geocentric longitude of Mars. And if you have enough of these points, you can actually reconstruct the orbit of Mars. And that's what Johannes Kepler did. Um, and sort of that's the purpose of doing this activity. So there's a couple options in terms of protractors to use. You could use sort of off-the-shelf um, plastic protractor, which is good, um, but unfortunately the way that this particular activity was designed, you're not using the outside black numbers on here. Um, you'd have to use the red numbers, which can be a little bit troublesome for students. And the plastic protractor does have its advantages. Um, you can see through it, obviously, but you can also use something um, like this tailor-made paper protractor. Um, you can see through the paper, you can align to the grid, so that's not an issue. This is intentionally a little bit smaller than the actual Earth's orbit, um, so it makes plotting points a bit easier. And I find, or have found that, uh, this is a little bit easier for some students because you're just very clearly following um, the numbers here, and the gradations are the same. Each line here is one degree. Uh, the bolder lines are five degrees apart. Okay. So how does this work? So we're first going to plot orbital position of Mars 1, um, and we're going to plot the heliocentric longitudes first. So first thing we need to do, because this is heliocentric, that means sun-centered, we're going to take our 360-degree protractor and center it on the, the sun. We're just going to check to make sure that it's registered correctly. Zero lines up with zero, 90s with 90, 270s with 270, and then 180 is on 180. Okay, So that's our first step. And so everything looks good so far. I'm going to check our first position. First position is 180 degrees. Our second position is 136 degrees. Okay. 180 degrees, we don't even need the protractor because it's marked for us on the page. 136, starting at zero on the right-hand side, you just follow up to 130. The next darker line is 135, 136. So you're going to make marks there, so that's 136 degrees, and 180 is kind of obvious. So the next piece is getting the geocentric longitude of Mars. So that means we need to now shift our protractor and we're going to place it or center it on our Earth's orbital position. And again, you need to make sure zero is always pointing towards the zero on the page. So in this case, it's towards the right. And you're just going to make sure that the lines are registered. So here, this point falls right on this sort of grid line. Zero is lined up. 180 is lined up, 90 and 270, just a little bit of adjustment there. So that's vertical, vertical, and now we should be good to go. Okay, So this measurement is going to be 118 degrees from 180 degrees geocentric, or heliocentric longitude, excuse me. So we're going to measure 118 degrees all the way up here, so 110, 115, 16, 17, 118. So you're just having a mark here. Once you've plotted 
under your geocentric longitude, and this is 118 degrees. What you're going to want to do is strike a line from your heliocentric longitude to the geocentric longitude. You're just going to use a straight edge, line them up, and this is done in pairs. So for the first pairing, you're just going to want to extend this line out. This method works because from this orbital position of Earth, we observe Mars in a slightly different location because Earth is in a different location um, in its orbit. And so from 136, we're going to plot 168 degrees geocentric longitude of Mars. So we're going to center our protractor on that position of 136 degrees. That's on Earth's orbit circle. And I'm just checking to make sure that my protractor is sort of oriented with the grid. That looks pretty good. 168 degrees, 160, 165, 66, 67, 68. Let me make a mark here. I'm going to connect this up. And here we are just concerned with the intersection point. So where these two lines intersect, that represents the orbital position of Mars. I'm just going to label this Mars 1 to represent what's in the table. Okay, So we'll go through that process one more time. I'll demonstrate it for over position 2. Again, um, we always start with the heliocentric longitude of Earth in its orbit. So you just want to orient your protractor, center it on the sun. Check to see that's at 0, 270, 90, 180. We're good to go. Uh, 210 degrees, so right here. Um, this is an example where having a slightly undersized protractor helps. Um, if you use the plastic variety, depending on whoever created the document, the circle might be exactly the same size or um, slightly smaller than the protractor. Um, that gets to be a little bit troublesome. Um, nothing insurmountable, but it's a little bit annoying. There's 210 degrees. I'm just going to go ahead and plot this 167 degree point as well. So 160, 5, 6, 7. Okay. And I would recommend only plotting two of these at a time. That's easy enough to keep track of. Um, if you feel like that's too much of a stretch, I would just do a single pair at a time. Okay, so from 210 degrees, I'm going to recenter this and plot 151. Okay. So 151 right here. Strike my line connecting the heliocentric longitude of Earth with the geocentric longitude of Mars. And I'm just going to extend that well beyond the point. I'm not sure where the intersection point will be between this line here. So from 167 degrees heliocentric longitude of Earth, we're going 204 degrees geocentric longitude of Mars. Okay. That looks pretty good. 204 degrees. It's going to be down here. Connect this up with a straight edge. Again, our intersection point is what we really care about. That should say Mars. Mars position 2. So if you wanted to reconstruct the orbit of Mars, you would need many more points than this. This isn't all that helpful um, just with these two points, but it is good practice for triangulation. Um, and if you were to plot more points, you would be able to approximate the elliptical orbit of Mars.